Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's up everyone? It's Silver Spoon and Paintbrush here. Welcome to day two of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. The last part of the game you've already been seeing is one of our biggest of the night, and this one is all for turning to be anybody's game. As the start one puts in, you all see and remember this, that this game comes to be a pamphlet to get back into the game. And then the following for the next part of the game, it happened to be the Carolina beating against the Flyers on the other part of the game. It was a 4-3 game, close call in the game. But it was too late for them. They extended 3-0. This will be win or go home for them, as you will see them back very soon here for our next part of the game here in Game 4. Then Nashville Predators lost in overtime as they faced against the Dallas Stars as Dushney makes a win. And the Canes survive, and they are on its way to head into Game 4 to do it again against the Canucks. But now this time, we've got the Avalanche versus the Jets. That's another part of the primetime edition that we're looking at forward into. And yeah, that's right. If you're ready for this one, let's find out who takes the next win here. Following along for the next game will be the Capitals versus the Bruins at Capital One Arena. Then in tonight's game will be the Bolts facing against the Rangers as Amali Arena. And finally, as last part of the game, the Knights are at home in Vegas to face against the Edmonton Oilers. Now let's get the game settled in. The next commentary I will add is Senna Feast, along with the other commentary of the group. As I also have is of the course you always know for, Wood Spoonie. And then the center ice will turn into the all for anybody, Terry Crews. We'll see you all later for the post-game show. Take it away, guys. What's up everyone, it's Son of Beast at Canada's Life Century. It's the home of the Winnipeg Jets as they're ready to do it again against the Avalanche. Third game underway here in Winnipeg, Canada. It's game time. Let's do this as this game is underway and in for the coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs in between of the Western Conference. And the starting goaltenders in between of Connor Hillebuck and Alexander Georgiev. Trillardi will have it a side fight. What a shot saved here by Georgiev. Colorado back on the other side of the offense zone up by Ranton and shot it. He scores. That one rips it through. An early lead puts in for the Avalanche. Ranton in with his first goal in the playoffs. 221. Now that was a quick uh, release, man. You go for the power game, you got that one slapping in. That one has to be a good puck on string to keep all of his time. You know what happens, he beats over two good couple defenders in between. But that one was no joke at all. The win puts in for the Winnipeg Jets. Lekrenin takes a buck steal. Over with the shot, and a save pad by Hel Hel Connor Hellebuck. Scheifele with the buck in. Shot and saved up here by the pad by Georgia. McCarr with the puck now finding his way down for it in the outer side. Now finding McKinnon. Rams it in and it's rebounded by Morrissey. Gives it off to DeMello. Unable to pass it here as McCarr has it. Now off to Lekrenin. He went banging up from the corner. Morahan on his way down back the other way. The pass back to Morrissey. Morrissey! Oh, he took a hit here in the center of ice. That one's a really hard and painful on their way. There's no way they, they, they can't let that one just slow it down because there is no room. They've got to fix their problem over here. They've got to get this thing going. Excellent recovery here by DeMello, and now he finds it over to Ellers. Ellers battling for the rebound. Ranton in. Can't hold on with the puck. He's up in the corner trying to go over it. A lot of hit here for the Jets. DeMello trying to detour them. And more seed give again to I follow. Back again to Morrissey. With a new line change, as Monahan trying to go over it. Can't find an open man opener. 
DeMello lost that one. Here's Cohen, hit with the puck. He fires that one out. The chest scooping in the offense zone, now finding Monahan. Monahan trying to race it out. The pass broken up here. Morrissey's got it over down to Ellers. Ellers tries to shoot it and save, but to Georgiev. Now, and Georgiev had that one with a really good and comfortable way. That would have to be like a starting transition, and this is a not a great way because the Alabuck has been trying to get that one here straight ahead in order to get that one here, flag it down. We haven't hit the midway mark of the period. Avalanche early lead, 1-0 over Winnipeg. Now they win the faceoff as Dylan will have it all. Now back again to the Dryder. The Dryder trying to fight it his way in. Shoots and gloves saved by Georgiev. Wood with the puck. He's on right towards the right wing and now looking for a helping room. Save puts in by Gullivan. Wood lost that puck control. And their team leads to it, you know, leaving the zone, and this goes back to O'Connor. O'Connor lost that one, and still will have it over. Keeps it clear. The Avalanche regaining the group as Manson has it again to drone in. Drone in, right in toward the right wing. He went down as Appleton takes a stop. A spill finding Lowry. Lowry can't hold on to that one as he makes a spin around. Behind towards his neck. Can't find an open man. A big save here by Hellebuck. The out now finds Appleton. Appleton right towards to the right, right of the wing into the left. Now Dylan will have a shot and saved up by Georgian. Rebounded by the Dreider. Off to Schmidt. Shot! Saved up for the pad. No saving in this one. Can't get that one for the pressure out of the zone. Schmidt shot. Three times save. Four times save for Georgian. Full pressure for the Jets. Loses the puck control, but still holds on. Dylan, right to Appleton. And the penalty's called on Colorado. They're going to get a first major penalty for the Avalanche. Byram is in the penalty box. The Jets are on the power play. Uh, who wants that now for Byram to take over? You can't mess that up. Avalanche with their first penalty kill. The Jets are on a power play with only 12.14 to go. As, by, as another team here, Byron short game and wins the face off. They clear the puck out. Perfetti with the puck now finding over to Bion. Bion breaks through the middle. Velarde shoots it. That one's off the skater and it goes to deflected wide. And McCarr will have it again to Wagner. Wagner working his way in there. Shot! What a block for stuck made here by Culliver. Wagner right toward in the center. Finding the car to get short. And yeah, this one has been knocked out by Culliver. Culliver's going to hold it here with just 11.24 to go in the first. Here's the take for Terry Cruz. Connor Culliver has it dialed in for one of the biggest saves of this night. It doesn't improve it because he's all dialed up. And he has a lot of it with his takeover ability. The range is that simple, and we'll find out if he does one. Sure, it's saved by Georgiev. 11 or 9 left to remain in the first period, as Georgiev will handle it out and ready for an earned shot in puck. Colorado wins the faceoff as Manson has it. Clears the puck out. Kyle Connor right back again in the driver with 35 seconds in the power play for Winnipeg. Namstikov, shot! That was too wide and it goes right over back to Pagliano. Connor holds on. Back to Namstikov. Eller's on a shot! Saved by Georgiev! Oh, uh, he's really well right now. I mean, just gotta believe it. And you've gotta make sure you get this one right timing down. Looks like his time is almost up. Connor shot. Another stop here by, by Jurgen. Man advantage is over as Ellis will have it back to Connor, now to full strength. 
You know, a communication does have it all of it because they were really been shutting you down. It's not what they always do because that one keeps out of, a, out of alignment to get over the defense window. This one's not going to keep it all for sure. Nathan McKinnon has an unstoppable force that he will take all this time with it. We're for effort. He does have a good control of it from his body technique and a good poke check to make the body check right in between. Connor Hellebuck has this dialed in from one of his saving techniques. He's finding a way to get from here if he has one taken down. I have a lot of two range in between here. Let's see who does. He scores! Kelvin Carr with his first goal in the playoffs. Now has 67. This one in game three keeps on coming. It's a great pass out there. After you give it off to him, watch what the car does. Great screen here by Rantanen, and that one got right toward the other slot of the angle, beating Hellebuck. That looks like they never wanted to slow it down at that point. They never just really wanted to go away. The Jets and the Colorado team are really like a tough one, to be honest here. Back in regular season, Colorado Avalanche have already lost against the Winnipeg Jets this time. How did that really happen for this part of the season? Well, it's really like a, a big a battle takedown, and I really can't even tell you now that the battle and the racing in for the uh, top of the standings here, this could be a lot of hard one to take over between. Referee's been signaled, and this time it's a boarding call on Nathan McKinnon. And it's now Winnipeg's chance to go on a power play. 0-1 this time. Let's see if he gets one for another one. The Jets are right now on the power play, looking for his time to get from here. And with the win, here's Gerard. Gerard will clear the puck out, holding a puck from here as this one gets back to Pionk and Villardi will have it over. Go over to Scheifele. Shoots and saved by Georgiev. Perfetti shot. That one's denied here again by Georgiev. Scheifele shoots and he scores! There's your power play goal! One and two for the Jets. Well, he's settled in right now because Mark Scheifele had just really made that one good. Good pass off, but that one turned it upward over from the net, but it was straight underneath there, and that one got a great big close to the call, Ryan, for that. Jets are on the board. It's a 2-1 game. Looking to see if they can get another goal to tie it up. And Toes will win that one here as O'Connor has a puck back to Wood. Shot with the puck. It's blocked. Holding on for Colton. And Connor's got it. Connor making his way down, trying to pull it in. Shot! Stop here by Georgia. 7.45 left to go in the first period. Trying to hold on tight. Here's Dylan, shoots it, and it's denied off the skater, and he goes back to O'Connor. No given here as he battles for a loose putt. McCarr's got it now, back again. Villardi takes a steal. Backhander went wide. The Avalanche are back in the offense. Wood lost that putt. Dylan trying to battle for the rebound. Here's Wood, behind the net. Back into O'Connor. Here's Toe shot. That's deflected. Pat stop here, right, Hellebuck? Well, that was really good enough to get from the deflection. This one needs to get a key and resist it. This one's not going to maintain it because that one is going to be like a takeout to whatever they go for. You know this is a hard team. But they, they really need to show some instructions. They have to find their way out of it. But that has a great stop. It's there for the attackers in there. Keep that collision course, and they are going to get that one over fighting. Lekkonen's got that puck with only 5.30 to go in the first period. Off to McKinnon. Shots blocked up here by Scheifele. Dylan. Now off to the Dreider. Just five minutes remaining in the first period finds Lowry. Shot! And he scores! Start this game up on a great pressure between Colorado and Winnipeg. Oh, Adam Lowry just saw that one, slipped it out. And that one just got one by him, and there's no question out there, because that one slipped right past him. 
and it went off the scale of the blade. Both teams tied up as Adam Lowry receives 37 points in his first goal in the playoffs against the Avalanche. Now they're taking over for one in between. Lowry made that one with his go-ahead goal in the playoffs. That one started to be a one-timing angle. This one may not be the one that you're looking for. And a save puts up here by Georgiev. Well, questionable, it's just a hard one you get there. Morrissey can't hold on to the puck. Went down. No penalty on Colorado. Paris has the puck here with only 4.10 to go in the first period. Trying to give up the Jovanson shot. That's deflected right toward the wall. Paris back to Jovanson and Gerard. Shot. Stopped by Hellebuck. What a terrific save. Now that one really going to be a hard one to go for. for Hellebuck, it never really caught on. That one took it over here way big. Inching closer to the end of the first period. You can feel the energy now. It's a tie game. As the Buck Jets win the faceoff here and back to DeMello. Over now to Ellers. Here's a take for Ellers. Go for a lead. Oh, and Giorgio denies that one. Stop the play bound with only 3.30 to go in the first period. Now they're ready to do an hour faceoff. Attacking still going on in between. They wanted to get this one close game right in between. The win puts it up for Avalanche. Try to buy ram it through. Over now to Drouin. And Paris has it. Paris right toward the right wing. Gives off to the shot. Schmidt takes the puck away. No more. Sandberg with the puck here on a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Loses that one and it's Johansson with the puck. Shot! And club saved by Hellebuck. And that was pretty good timing technique because he's all dialed in. He must have that one. Got that one right timing. Still a tie game. Looking for a leadoff for the Jets or the Avalanche. Wind puts in for Colorado. Then a stop made by Hellebuck. Ellers right toward the right, the left side of the wing. In the Avs territory, oh, Georgia about that piece of it, almost lost that one immediately, but he still got it. The Avalanche wins again as Johnson will have him back. Try to give out to Cogliano. Cogliano tries to give it over to Kevarante. Kivirane shot. That is saved here by Kilimuk. Wagner up and over as the deflected off the skater. Rebounded the puck for the Avalanche. Cogliano shot. One timer stopped again here by Hellebuck. Toe shot. Young takes a steal. Over again to Connor. Kyle Connor looking for fast wheels. Can't hold on to the puck. Final seconds remaining in the first period as we are down to under a minute. Here's Cole. Can't hold on with it now as the puck goes right to the corner to Wood. And toe shot. He scores! I think look at O'Connor. I'd have to flunk it in. Yes, he did. He looks like he got that one deflected. It's a great time in that part. What a time. Now watch what Toast does. You see what happened to Connor. He had that one, looked at it in here, and that one deflected in between. When Toast has that one, he just can make him a quick reaction at the end of it, and took it, deflecting it right toward the right side of it, right toward the net. That's a great help here, and they are putting the abs back on the wall. Devin Toast getting a little bit tired in between here for the assist, and this time Logan O'Connor had the first goal deflected in there for his first playoff game. And now here's another one. He went down already. 20 seconds in the first period. O'Connor trying to roast it in. Give off to Coley shot. An attack saved here by Hellebuck. Over now again at Emsikov. Dylan. To shoot from the outside won't be enough. There's a horn and that will end the first period. 3-2 to score. Good deflection for O'Connor. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. We're about to get this thing started for the second period. 
The puck is dropped and we're all settled in and ready for the second. And the take over here between Colorado Avs in front of it. Let's have your take wood screening for the recap. Well, it's really good enough to have that one coming inbound. I've always got to tell you that there is a great way that Byron had that when he gave it off the toes. And this time, when Logan O'Connor had that one appeared, he showed up. He just made that one a great deflection in there. And that one give a good start lead here for the Colorado Avalanche. They had that one just start with an early lead. And they were really big gossip to get off. They've been picking up their show on the road to get that one back again from here. Hopefully there's another tight game this one if the Jets have it all caught up. Leckard in. Can't hold on to that one as Morrissey will have it over. He went down as Connor trying to give it back. Over with the shot. Leckard in. Holds the puck here and it goes with the deflection back towards again. Mc McKinnon back to Ranton in. On a shot, Pat saved here by Elwin. Back to Mello. He gives it off to Morrissey again to Connor. Connor right toward the glass, and Brandon takes that stop. McCarr has it now. Give off to McKinnon. McKinnon and try to roll it in to take the shot. Rebound by Leckerman, and it's taken over by I follow after a save by Elwin. Morrissey trying to answer in there. Pass is broken up by a Logan O'Connor. Wood, toward the middle. That shot is off and it goes right toward the glass. Joe demands it. Off to Colton. Shot, it's saved here by Hellebeck. Wrist for the shot. Again, that's a great blockage defensive settling for Ellerts. And another crouch down, tips it over. Here's the take. I follow the blocker stop made here by Georgiev. When Jurgen made a blocking shot, he has to make sure he has a plenty of more room to go back from here. They don't want to get that one loosed out because if something happens to him, they do not want to get defected already. Because at that point, they don't want him to be left alone on every time. And Monahan, the backhander can't hold on to him as Gerard will have it back. Gerard surpasses it. Shot and saved by Hellebeck. Get some time now with 5.15.30 to go for Hellebuck. As the play resumes, here's Avalanche. Toes lost that puck. Trying to battle it for the puck rebound and Velarde will have it over now giving over again to Dylan. Racing one-on-one -on -one attacking into the Axe territory. Can't hold on with that puck. Scheibler went down. That's a hard hit. They never really want to get that one showing up again. Here's the take, finds McCarr shot. What a save by Gulliver. We passed 15 minute mark in the second period. Looks like they definitely do want to see what's going on. Popping in there, they really better be showing up. They better be here. And that win wins it off for Colorado. Cronin, oh nice take down the fence. But already battling for the loose puck and Connor will have it over. Gives it off to Scheifele. Scheifele with the puck in. mccarr has got that puck now finding again a Jorgensen. Moves along the wing. The pass to Paris. This one's off the skater and Appleton will get it over again to Schmidt. The Jets will fire that one out into the Avs territory. By Rams got the puck. Now over again to Colton. Colin working his way down. Moves around. Chopper Johnson. Colin on a rebound. Good poke out here for Kalabuck. The Dryer now have it over again to Appleton. The Dryer carries his puck. He goes down out to him and said, Oh, uh, this is mine now. Oh, there is a lot of body contact in here. A lot of hits. It's going to be a lot of hard takeover here. Saved by Kalabuck. And by Ram, give off the Johnston shot. Good pad stop here by Hellebuck. Sandberg again to Appleton. Appleton working his way down. Shot, stop by Georgia. Now Johnston will have it again to go Connor. Hold on, grabs the puck steal. He gets out of the way, and by Ram, have it back. He's over now to Colton. Colton gets to Wood. 
Quinn on a shot. What a blocker stop here for the Jets on a diving release play. And this one goes right toward the wall. Sandberg again to I follow. The Jets are back in the offense and Elders will have it in. I follow shot. Can't take it puck in. Mr. Rod will have it over. Valley for the puck range finds McKinnon again to Wood. Here's Renton in back to Manson. Manson battling for the board. He pushes back. Now Gerard will have it here. Give it again back to Manson. The Avalanche scooting it in. McKinnon driving in the front of the net. That one's tough by Morsey. Now he's up to it now. Villardi spins it. Saved here by Georgia. Now McKinnon on a one-on-one -on -one fast break. DeMello, oh, he's going to push that one down as Morrissey's got that puck anyway. Well, it's a great recruit already. He's always got to show up if the puck is, gets loose and behind. He don't want to get that one left out. What a stop by Georgia. Gerard give again to Rantanen. Looks in front. The stop made. Puts up by Hellebuck. DeMello battling for a puck on the board. He gets off to Morrissey. Now he's having over to Villardi. Can't hold the puck here as they battle for it. And there's a penalty call. The Avalanche will get their first power play. And not this time. Johansson had that goal early range. And it turns it all over. Well, Johansson really doesn't want me to step in bound. He's just trying to beat Gerlbuck out of him. No power plays, no problem. But that one has got to scoop in there, but this one is not the choice that they really never want to have a power play like that. The Avalanche extend the lead, and it's now a 4-2 lead. Looks like this won't be a 3-0 if they tie this up. Well, especially if this would keep on going. They, they can't let the Jets slow down. And if there's something bad happening, they don't want to leave that one puck alone. Want to stop here as Hellebuck makes a save. 7.48 to go in the second period, past the midway mark. Nearing a close range in between. Still looking for a goal in between the Avs and the Jets. The win puts it in. The car shot blocked. Baroon has that puck steal, now have it over. Making his way inside. Toes grabs the puck and the rebound. Now he finds it again to Johansson. Moving quickly in toward the middle. Maroon's got it now, and the Jets will have it back in the Avs territory. Puts a stopper from the car, and now he has it back. The deep end pass over to Wagner. Wagner shot, a save puts up by Gulliba. That's not how it's going to happen, because this win really keeps on going in between, and they can't let that one fool down for you. They need to be out there for one living. Colorado wins another faceoff. What a takedown! Bianca has it now. Battling for the loose puck. In right behind the net of the cage. Pagliano trying to hold on with the puck to Wagner. Here's Sherrod. Pagliano shot. And a pass stayed here by Holloway. Here they come. Back to the offense. Ellis blocked that shot. As Kivarante with the puck. Now he doesn't handle it this time as Monahan tried to battle for it. I ball shot! Oh, what a tough, fantastic save by Georgiev with 5.20 to go. Now that's not what they really do. They really make sure that one keeps an eye on the truck. Inching closer to the end of the second period. 4 2 is where we left off in a second. McKinnon wins the faceoff. Now he works his way over as Manson now finds Leckernan. Leckernan. Can't hold on. Now back again to Ayafella. Monahan's got that puck. Racing in. The save puts up a Georgiev. Brandon's got that puck here. Now trying to look for the other way to Ayafella shot. What a stop here. Now backs it again to Morrissey, again to Monohan. Monohan shot, trying to fuck it in there, but it stayed out. 
Now, now it's not really what they were expecting it because of that. They are really are pushing their way through. This may not be what they're taking. Oh, that one's got a close call and no gold taking in for Avalanche. And blocked by I follow. I follow right toward the right wing. He went down as oh, Georgiev gives it back to Manson. Manson fighting his way through. Connor takes the puck. Now he's off to do it to get again to Velarde. Velarde lost that one as I follow. Shoots! Blocker stop made here by Georgiev. Lebanon and battling for the puck. Chain is broken. Rebound by Shai Right toward the net. Find a pass to Morrissey. Here's Connor. Manson can't take that one puck in as the goes out. 220 left to go in the second period. And he bottles it. Oh my! That is going to be a hit problem here. Well, that one really is battling it in there. That is a lot of right motion there. Can let that one take over if you know how to take that one down right away with the collision course. They are really are battling it out because if something happens to you, you do not mess it up at all times. Colin loses the puck. Full pressure's turned off as Lowry's in the middle. He went down after it. Jorge is going to sell it down during the final minute in the second period. And the Jets will win it. That one went right toward the wall. Oh, Georgia! That one stayed out of it. Final minute remaining in a second as it puts another stop here by Georgia. Drummond has it across. Oh, he takes a big hit. Say hello to my little friend. Ah, oh, there's a big one. Big attack of there, really wrapping it up. The Dryder trying to hold it in now. Lowry shoots. Rebound it's stopped made here by Georgiev and Paris. 2 on 1 opportunity. Will he beat it? And it's stopped by Golubak. 0.4 seconds in the second period, and the last face off will be it. So it's still a 4 2 game. Colorado up by front, lead off by two, and now we'll end the second period. Two, quarter, two periods complete. Only one more period left to go in Winnipeg, Canada. We'll be right with you shortly after this. And we are back, ready for the third period. And here we go, we're about to start things off for the final period in the first game of Game 3. What a stop by Alba! Now there's a good tight in between there because they really are been kicking it up right in between the gap zones. They are really been dunking it out. Just one of them, but not anybody is out there who can definitely try to keep on going. Hopefully there might be a time to even it up. We'll see what they can do. There's Morrissey. He goes down. Now the rebound will be picked up by Toads. Here's Ranton. Finding again to Lekkonen. Lekkonen trying to give it up. McCarr shot. He scores. Two goals in the game in the playoffs against the Jets. Oh, uh, they're now stunning it up already. Right. They're really wanting to show him off. You know, you can tell what happened here because then McCarr, he was been lifting it up. Just showing that the stick of a switching motion just kept that one coming forward. And then it just went right to the net. Two goals for Kale McCarr, as if Atari Lekkonen has 53 points in the, in the playoff game, this one's not going to be easy enough if the Avalanche are coming back in again. Now with the win for the Jets, passing just a second in the period, and this one stopped again by Georgiev. Pass again to McCarr. McCarr went down, McKenna gets to Lekkonen. DiMello's got the puck now, finding Morrissey again to Velarde. Velarde working his way through. He finds Connor's shot. That went wide. Puck leaves his own, and we got an offside call on Winnipeg. 
lot of time left in this period. There is an extension for Colorado as they lead up by three. Now the Jets well, will take it back. Up in the corner is Connor. Find Pion. Fires a shot. He scores. They're not done yet. They only are down by two. As Pion gets his first goal in the playoff. That night Pion just fires in a thunderclap in motion. That one takes a slap and fires a wide. That one takes a gun to go for it ahead. Jets are down by two. Jets coming down to 18 minutes, under 18, and now it's Colin with the win. The car, keep the pass over, is broken up. Shot belly, Connor, inside the zone, trying to bow it out of here, and the puck is in the corner. Connor goes down. Toes has a puck for Colorado. And Wood on his way down to his approach bank. That one makes the blocker stop by Hellebuck. Leon kicks it across to Connor. Leon finds it again to Monahan. Monahan on a two on one fast break. Finding a pass side. Oh! What a save by Georgiev. Georgiev's going to hold it on here with just coming down to 16 30 to go. As for the part of tonight's game, we've had got the Rangers facing against the Bolts. That will be underway soon, so keep your eyes peeled for the next part of the game. And that will be at Tampa Bay at Amali Arena. This is another part of the game that the Tampa Bay Bolts haven't been played against the Toronto Maple Leafs, but now in the wildcard position, now ready to face off with another team in the playoff position. Stop again by Hello. So that will be at 7 p.m. right underway here in Tampa Bay as we'll get you guys on the other side of it to show you what's going on. And finally, the 10.30 game will be the Knights versing against the Oilers in Vegas. Oh, Vegas town, it's Viva Las Vegas, baby! <laughs> yeah, well, they're all really like everywhere. I mean, you'll find out for sure. Yeah, I passed doubt that Vegas is going to be all for anybody. Defending champion in the Stanley Cup. Let's hope that they get back into it and win it again. Dylan shot. Oh, the deflection. Jordan holds it out. No one takes another stop here as a puck of the stick has comes broken. And they clear that one out of here. Now here's the win for Winnipeg. Pion trying to fire it out. Johansson can't hold on. I thought I will score it. They can't get a deflection in as Paris gaps it back again to Jorgensen. 15 minutes remaining in the third period. Down goes back to Beyond. Appleton will have that puck. Rebounding it over again by Lowry. Girard's got the puck. Colorado back in the offensive zone as Druin will have it. Druin finding Jorgensen. Johansson right to the middle. Shot! Save off by Hellebuck. That's another stop by Hellebuck. And oh man, that was too close. That puck still stayed out already. Yeah, it's not really what you do because that one just got him pressured out. Hellebuck just got a great save of it. What a play. McKinnon wins the face off. That one deflected right toward the wall. And on a shot! Two time! Oh, Alba! But they get back! Granted them with two goals as two guys already have two goals in the game, but the close quarter was ranting in. Well, you know the closing quarter, that was going to be a close one. In fact, that Erlebuck was going to take it, but unfortunately for now, ranting in has just spotted a leopard and just made that one with a go. That one closed it out of here near the midway mark of the period, and they never really got there that far. So the Avalanche extend their lead back by three as it's coming down right towards its way to look for a hat trick between McCarr and Rhett and, and Lekkonen. McKenna gives to Lekkonen for three! That's off again by Halibut. DeMello gives it to Morrissey. Morrissey finds DeMello. 13.20 to go in the third period. Appleton racing toward again. That puck leaves it out as Lefkoe to try to battle it. And it's back to Rantanen. 
Move quickly to McKenna and shot. That one's deflected and goes right toward the wall. The rebound it. Blocked. Nick Ryder back to Morrissey. He has off now to Lowry again to DeMello. DeMello off to Morrissey. Gives it to Appleton. Appleton trying to work his way out across inside the zone. Pass to Nick Ryder. What a save by Giorgia. Now that one is going to be a little hard in the takeover because it's not really easy. But they gain that too hard and too big and concentration is never worth the sign. It has to be a one of a, one of a better technique in this school. They've got to get their food. Connor lost the puck as McCarr will have it. Cutting him down, it's been blocked out. Sandberg over again to Connor. Connor trying to spin a road motion, now finding Sandberg. And pass is broken up by Colton. Rebound by Velarde. Fouling for the loose puck in the chain. Now Smith back to Shai Fale. And Connor will have it here. Towards the left wing. Goes right to the Lordy. What a save by Georgia. Pompliano right into the middle. 2 a 1 opportunity. Poked it away. Pompliano rebounds the puck. McCarr for 3. And take it away. Monahan takes it over back again to Ellerts. Ellerts right toward the left with a wing. Shoots and save again by Georgia. Now they are really a bottle it out. I don't know what they could do, but I think the US team could beat out against the Canadian team. There's a lot of it that's happened for the last part of the season, in the postseason, but it looks like they need to get this one higher above the right. They have to get that one over too. Monahan has that puck. And save puts up again by Georgia. Nine minutes to go in the third as Toes has that puck. Try to play it in. And a save puts up by Hellebuck. Piat off to Hellers. Hellers right toward the middle shot. Then it went wide and it goes right toward the wall and one arm rebounds it back to I follow. Fires the shot. That one could have blocked it up with a clear shot view, but it's taken over. Colorado on a fast break. Lepin in for three. Deflected. Hellers back again to Della. Dylan to I follow. Moves around the wing. Manson takes a puck. Oh, that was going to be a takeout for and I follow has it. And a rebound there. Oh, Georg going to make the save on that play. That old Pippen rebound here for the Jets. Oh, close enough to be out there. They never get that one unstoppable to get their through. Here's the call, as we have right now. It's Terry Cruz. Well, David McKinnon was really playing a lot of hard on this repetition of the night. He's been going for his unstoppable range in between the offense and defense. He's done really well at it, guys. And we hope to have him back for the next part of the game if he does it again. Morsey, pass to Perfetti. Shots blocked by Manson. 6.45 left to go in the third period. Ranton in, trying to battle it out. Dump it out into the Winnipeg zone. Winnipeg back again to Morsey. Off to Zanello. DeMello moving his way through as he fires it out in the Colorado zone. Valley for the two puck in the zone. Try to take the wipe out of him as Perfetti has it. Barron and Coyne back the other way. Coyne moves it around, trying to look it in. Back to Wood. Almost had a one listed out, but that one stayed out of the net. Now it's here is Sky Felly. Shoots! Saved by Jurgen. Battling for the loose puck in the chain, right by the board in the corner. Connor finds a large shot. Shot fell behind the net as the save puts it out. What a stop by Jurgen. Jurgen is really impressed. They've really been pushing it out. Dominating performance effort. Keeps on going. And the win puts in for Colorado. Johnson with the puck. Trying to lose it out. Now finds again a Wood. 4.30 left to go in the third as Wood battles it for the two on one opportunity. And a big save by Hellebuck. Here's Wood. Puck stolen by Morrissey. He went down all of it. Say hello to my little friend again. Number two pick.
They really can't be leaving it out like that. Saved by Jorgian. And the fire rip it. And I'm going to stop made by the goaltender. Full pressure's on. Millardi back to Morrissey. Clear the path. That was way wide. Cohen ends it off with the full pressure zone. Good save by Hullaba. Nearing down the final three minute in the third period, still a 6 3 game. Now they're looking for another critical draw in the period. Now here's a win for Monahan. I fell try to have it over again to Monahan. Monahan grabbing inside, finding out a shot. Rebound it. That one stayed out of here by Georgia. And Monahan shots it goes wide. Monahan trying to hit it back in, but it was stayed out of here. As Bakar has it down on the other side of the zone. The car for three, and it goes up and over the net and out of play. Well, the guys here as Brad Marchand and Alex Ovechkin are ready to take things on, we got our next game coming up as we have the Bruins and the Capitals at Capital One Arena. That will be happening here next game at 3.30 p.m. That's going to be coming up right after this first game. We'll take some few, couple few breaks, and we'll get back right into the game number two. Now McCarr will have it swing it over. Loses the puck in possession. Paris with the puck in settling. Shoot and good stop by Gullibut. Pass down a 90 second mark in the third period. Need to get this one back down by two. Jets wins another faceoff. Where Reese has it. Jordan up. Good blocker stop made by Gullibut. Battling for the loose puck in the chain. Final minute remaining in the third period. They need to get this one full pressure out. Back to Sandberg. And a save puts up by Georgiev. The driver have again to Lowry. Blocked the shot by McCarr. Here he comes right toward the wing. McCarr for three, he scores! Oh, that way you take here, and that hat trick is ours! Kill McCarr earns it. Now you see me, now you don't. Kill McCarr had that one faced it in, and what a game this happened. And out, Winnipeg. McCarr has three. While this happens now, Kale McCarr earned that hat trick. He makes it all clearing out and showing to silence the crowd in Winnipeg. A couple fans have already just slept and the game has already been finished out. What a rapid wild game this is. Right between the American team and the Canadian team. May not be what you're looking for, but that one turned it out to be the end of it for now. And Rantanen is going to hold it up and that will end game three here. Final shot, stopped by Oliva. Last possession with the face-off puck drop. And now a win for the Jets. So that ends it up as the Colorado Avalanche has finally made an answer. They are now on the board as Georgiev makes a great save in Game 3. Always know that Georgiev never quits because that is the how you do determine to win that game. With along with me, Son of Peace and Wood Spoony and Terry Cruz, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs for the first game of Game 3. Thanks for joining with us and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. All right, thank you so much. Time for three star players in the game. Third star starts it off. We have across it. We have no star of the game here for the third, but only Lekkonen made that one with an unbelievable moment. That has to be Rantanen with two goals and an assist and two hits. And your first star player of the game goes out to Kale McCarr with three goals and seven hits. And Georgiev was your third star player of the game. He done excellent. Hat trick earned in game three. Here's what I did with the total statistics. 54 over 53 for the total shots of Winnipeg, 
and it was 55 over 50 for Colorado. Then it was 629 over 618 for the time on attack of Winnipeg. 92 over 91 passing for Winnipeg, but only 28 faceoff win and four minute penalty kill was Colorado. Only a power play goal for the Winnipeg Jets with 229. Well, I guess now, I guess that this one is going to take a lot of time now. Get well rested up and get ready for game four. As of right now, at this instant, if you're tuning in for the second game, stay tuned. We got your next game coming up after the break, and we'll get your second game underway. Thanks for watching for the first game, and we'll see you all again next time. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Ciao for now. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.